hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is ali today i will show you how you can uh, use google earth engine for water change detection and how you can track 30 years of change in a river uh, or how you can detect river course change so in this tutorial i will explain it all so first of all i'm going to click on run to show you the results that what i actually i am here to perform then i will explain the code further and one thing more uh, for this time i will paste the code in description and i will put password on archive which you have to watch this video and i will explain the password and you can set that password there so first of all that you can see i clicked on run and it loaded me layers so what it will do it will load all the 30 years layers like i will get 30 layers of ndwi and landsat actually i will perform ndwi on landsat so i mean to say that i will get 30 layers and i will show you how i will detect the change in 30 layers so for your time I am just going to speed up this video and you have to watch and then later I will show you that how I detected changed and uh, how I detected change and river course change. So let's watch, uh, let me speed up the video. Now I speeded up the video to save your time and now you have to watch it carefully that how uh, the river course is changing over time and how you can see uh, that uh, the river course is being changed and how the water quality is being changed and how the path like is changed you have to detect it all because it's it's going to load all the 30 years layers and you you will see the layer results like you will see the results of 30 years 30 decades so uh, you, uh, so in this tutorial you can watch that how river is changing its course uh, layer by layers and when it will loaded all the layers then i will show you and then i will show you how the river course is changed how the river path is changed now uh, as you can see that it loaded all the layers now let me show you the change for example this is our first layer i'm going to uncheck and here's the main thing that you noticed something that for example this path you can you can check this path like earlier there was a path for example if i check a uh, new one you can see the path is removed now you can see older image that there was a particular path but when i click on the latest one and you will see that as slowly slowly it's like like gone from there and you can check you can check that's how the river is changing its course or you can see that uh, or you can you can name it like for example it was like oxbow or you can see the river meander then it disappeared and the uh, river changed its course like for example in in previous you can see now in latest you can detect that this path is gone and the river is a bit straighter but in older time river was like meandering from here and now in latest imagery you can see that this part is removed and river is a bit straight you can check in the images and now in older times you can see that how the path was so via this way you can detect and you can detect water change detection you can detect reverse course change detection so this analysis will help you to detect how your rivers are being changed over time so you can see and for example if i go to the bit older and you can see here the river was a bit uh, <clears throat> uh, wider but later it get a little bit like uh, uh, thinner and uh, also changed its course and bit straighter so and in in older times for example this was the path but in latest imagery you can see the how the path is being changed that's the change detection that you can detect that how it's changing its way you can see and for example if i click on little bit bit more let, um, older imagery and you will uh, feel the change so this is all about that how you can detect change 
and how you can utilize this NDWI to get water bodies and to get change in water bodies. Via this way you can identify change detection of any place all over the world. So this was the all about now let me explain the code one by one. So here you can see that uh, I loaded all the layers from for Landsat like for 2020 you can export it and same with NDWA you can export it from 1992 2000. Now let me explain the code from start to the end. So first of all in my console you can see that it loaded all the image images in my this analysis like it loaded 3806 elements and then image collection like I sorted cloud for Landsat 8 and simple the image is it's actually the uh, outprint of uh, first imagery to get the information about bands and different things and then the uh, uh, like uh, coordinates I got the coordinates for my study area like for example in this case I'm using uh, Sindh river uh, there is Sindh over here in Pakistan it's like Indus river over here in Pakistan and finally I got the chart like uh, a, a mean NDWI over time and you can see that I loaded all it for all the layers like I got 30 layers and you can check the results for 30 layers and you can see that how water has been changed over time and you can see that uh, uh, the years for which the water was at higher uh, stage and then how it's like low low and low and now uh, let me explain code so first of all I loaded my <coughs> visibility parameters uh, for Landsat and NDWI and later I will explain that how I got this index number so let me explain for example the first one is for Landsat uh, which one is variable subscribe to my user and second one is for my NDWI for example if I click on first layer uh, properties from the layers then there I will if I will click on like stretch 98% and then it will give me the, the range for minimum and maximum index number for example I'm going to click on layer and on custom uh, I will click on stretch so what it will do it will give me the index number it will give me the range for minimum to maximum so what I will do simply copy here the minimum range and paste it over minimum one and same with the maximum just copy the maximum range and paste in your maximum so via this way you can get your uh, uh, exact area uh, NDWI representation and the next one is uh, variable learn geography GIS RS with AI is actually the coordinates on which I am going to perform this analysis so here you can see that I loaded all the relevant coordinates of uh, the patch of Indus River on which I am going to perform this analysis for example here I loaded all the layers uh, for example this one is uh, first coordinates you can see I loaded all the list of coordinates and 69.20 and 28.15 actually this one is my latitude and longitude information 28 here is my latitude and 60 here, 60 here uh, is my longitude so you can check that uh, I loaded all the information I put it uh, longitude and latitude so 60 here is my longitude and 28 here is my latitude so I loaded all the longitude and latitude information for my this study area you can see that I loaded all <coughs> so you can later at the end I will show you how you can paste or how you can get uh, these coordinates for your study area and you can apply this analysis so this is about the coordinates then I loaded my then I selected my study area as a center object like when I will click on run wherever I will be on map it will take me to my study area and map.add layer is actually a function that it will represent our layer you can see here for example if I click on run so it will show us first of all our layer then it will perform analysis and it will show us the, uh, our results now the next one is function to remove cloud coverage or pixel that are affected by the clouds so this is the technique I am going to use here quality assessment pixel QA pixel which is actually a quality assessment pixel so what here do we do we actually remove the pixel that are affected by the cloud cover 
or cloud so we remove them by cloud masking so it's basically cloud masking technique so you can read uh, more about this over uh, google earth engine uh, data sets uh, and you can also read this from uh, gis stack exchange there are a lot of discussions around about this and you can get this from there and so here you can see that ali123 i loaded all the functions to remove the cloud for my landsat imagery now here i am just going to like track 30 years change detection in indus river over here in pakistan you can see in my task that from 1990 to <coughs> 2020 so here what i did i loaded start year like for example 1990 and 2020 so for example if you want this for 2024 you can also do that simply you have to load landsat uh, 9 and you have to uh, define the band names for landsat 9 and bands information for landsat 9 and you have to merge later i will show you how i did merge how i merged all the uh, <coughs> bands uh, all the landsat uh, bands and images so for example first of all i separately loaded my landsat after defining year here you can see that l4 pakistan rgb is actually landsat 4 landsat 5 landsat 7 here you can see i separately loaded all the landsat so for example if you want this till 2024 you can you have to just define one more landsat that is landsat 9 so you can check the documentation from there so here you can see that i loaded landsat with their band names and then further i explained like in you can see in variable pakistani a geographer pakistani one here it's the information of landsat 4 then further landsat 5 then landsat 7 and in the at the last i explained landsat 8 here you can see that how i got the date range for example if i am pasting here landsat 4 so i will first of all check the uh, data set availability then i can paste possible date range for example in this case i'm i will use their own date range for example it's available from 1982 to uh, 1993 so here you can paste like 1990 to 1990 or whatever you want or you can paste the original range from where it's available uh, from start to the end for example in landsat 8 i will show you that 2012 is their last range and in start range i will select any feas feasible date for my range for example it's available from 1984 to 2012 but in my case i will just put like for example 1992 2012 to get if there is like uh, imagery available or not image uh, not available so it will uh, help us you can select any uh, a date uh, within these date range so via this way you can check the properties of each landsat and here you can see that i loaded all the land sets separately and then at last i will merge them all into single one so for example the variable stop war in gaza is actually the my final collection you can see it's it's actually full collection of the land set where i merged all the land sets you can see that pakistan one pakistan three pakistan two three like geographer pakistan one two three so in this i merged all the land set 4 5 7 8 so i merged and then i printed so far in gaza so via this way you can print it all here's the main thing <clears throat> that after applying this then uh I applied actually uh, a function to get the information and it will load all the years automatically for example in case of landsat it will load all the 30 years layers of landsat by this function actually you can say that this function is like uh, it will automate our process or it will layer the load dynamically and uh, you can see that for example it will start from 1990 and it will end till our last uh date like for example i'm uh, in this case i'm using years 1990 to 2020 so it will load all the layers from 1990 to 2020 same with the ndvi it will get automatically it will print all the layers from start date to the end date you can see from 1990 to uh, 2020 so via this way you can investigate 
and the next one is i printed stop genocide against palestinians actually this is our information about our coordinates that we use for our study area so it will print that information and for the study area which i am performing this and the last one is export image you can see in tasks that i can export landsat and as well as i can export ndwi and in export function i also loaded same uh, function uh, to export each layer dynamically as i explained it earlier that i loaded this function to explain ndwi and landsat layers dynamic dynamically for each year same uh, i <coughs> Uh, put in this function to get all the layer dynamically in ever export so you can download all the layers or whatever you want you can download remember you have to sufficient storage in your google uh, uh, drive to get exported all these layers or you can just uh, use this one by one and here's that one thing that to calculate ndwi that the variable i defined here to calculate ndwi i just explained that i am using specific bands to calculate ndwi and i put in all the whole information about band names and uh, <clears throat> bands so you can check over there and finally i loaded the chart and here's the main thing that tile scale for example for this big date range and for big study area you can just play with this style for example my study area is large you can type 64 84 and for example if smaller than 16 so whatever you are you can just read about this over google so it's all about the code and via this way you can get your ndwi and you can change detect in your river course and you can get your layers so in my case i am performing this over here in pakistan on indus river we call it the rear synth and uh, i will show you if i zoom out so you can see that it's over here in pakistan i am just focusing this over on this coat key patch like it's between rahim yar khan and sakhar you can see in the match sakhar and rahim yar khan so i am taking the patch between sakhar and rahim yar khan like I am taking this patch over Gotki and Kashmore and uh, you can zoom and see and I perform this analysis so you can perform this analysis anywhere over world you just have to set the accurate threshold for example if you want for the things you have to set the accurate threshold values for your study area matching with your study area and you can do anything or you can modify this code i will provide this code in the description and the password for the code is learn geography gis rs vidyai let me write here so keep in mind to get this code you have to put this password every starting letter is capital learn geography gis rs with ai so you can get this password from from so it's all about code and you can apply simply this one anywhere over this one let me show you just an example to save your time i will not perform whole analysis just i'm showing you for example you have to copy this variable name just copy and for example i'm removing this layer and uh, i will draw <coughs> it anywhere over and then i will get this analysis done for that area for example you just have to copy and you have to draw uh polygon or whatever you want for example i want this analysis in the, this deragazi khan patch so you simply have to select this option from here just click and just take your points simply and rename this this one with the exact variable name that is learn geography js just simply paste here and click on run you will get this analysis done for your study hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys and have a nice day stay blessed and remember me in your prayer and you can see that i will simply get this analysis for this study area so in this way you can perform this analysis anywhere over this world have a nice day stay blessed take care bye